For this training, we're going to go over how to actually use the coupling machine to couple inch and three quarter hose for repair. So, uh, female coupling is what we're repairing on here. Again, we've cleaned it out, we've taken everything out of the inside. Uh, we have a new inner O ring. So, this O ring is the one that goes down inside of here between the hose and the actual coupling itself. So, in order to get started, uh, we need the right uh, expanding unit, so uh, inch and three quarter. Now, there's a threaded piece in here where we uh, this will line up and thread into and then there's a threaded piece on this inside which will accept uh, this portion so I always do the inner one first we'll get it started we'll take it all the way tight once that one's tight then this inner one will go in and it'll tighten down You want this to go all the way down. And what, what ended up happening is we had this shaft that drives back and forth in here too far forward. And so it wouldn't let this lock down. So I'm just adjusting it so as you as you pump this, it draws that piston in. And there we can see we're all the way down. This one that spins here uh, will help us get our distance. So that's the next step. You got to have the actual coupling that you're going to be using. As we expand this, the part that has the springs around it will actually expand out as this gets drawn back into it. And that's what actually crimps this piece of brass and expands that out. But we need to determine where this comes out because when ultimately when we put this in, we want this brass to expand and actually catch this inner gasket. Now again, this is the gasket that goes in there. So it'll catch the gasket and then this part of it will catch the hose and all this will expand out and get caught up in the inner grooves inside the coupling and that's what holds it in place. So we gotta figure out how to set this for these. So it doesn't matter if you're doing it with two and a half, it doesn't matter if you're doing it with male, female. Bring this down. So you can slide it up and on. And then once you get it up and on, then we're gonna expand it out. And as we expand it out, it's gonna catch. And again, we don't wanna go so far that it damages that coupling, but it catches and you can't pull it back. And basically, when that catches, it's actually hitting the seat where this will sit, okay? So that, that expanded ring comes out and it's sitting there. So, if we pulled it all the way back this way, we know that it's touching right in here, and we can run this collar down to where it would be tight. If we expanded it right here, then it would take up this whole thing. The owner's manual and how it operates, you need to have a gap in here that's roughly half the size of that inner O-ring. So while holding this back, you spin that collar back until roughly that gap is half that O-ring. Now Tyler's standing up, I'll see if he can tell. I roughly half that opening. About there. Okay, so at that point we know that's set. So we're going to re release it, and now when we release it, the shaft's going to come out. Thus sliding back off. So now that we've got it set, we're going to take that O-ring now. That O-ring goes down inside your coupling. And the brass goes inside your hose and you want to watch if you if you bury this all the way down in as soon as that hose makes contact with that rubber gasket it's going to stop so again we want a little bit of this brass to come out and actually cover around that inner gasket so sometimes this can be a challenge to get all the pieces in there And then you can look down inside of it, and I can see that my hose 
is all the way up to the gasket and then you might have to reach down in there and pull that brass up so it covers that o-ring and secures down in there now at this point we know it's set so as we bring this back in in line all the way in that it's going to come and it'll expand the brass piece the brass piece will grab that inner o-ring and then ultimately it'll all grab the hose and make the connection so again just make sure everything's square um, everything's touching on the inside and that brass is where it needs to be now something with this that's kind of a challenge with the inch and three quarters it's blind so as we're inserting this again it helps to have this opened up and you're trying to center that because if I catch it funny on the way in I might have just pushed that brass piece back so you just want to make sure that that's brought all the way forward up in and it'll actually grab that o-ring as part of the connection so at this point I'm going to insert this into here and then Tyler's going to pump it up. Now if we look on the actual device itself, we've got a pressure gauge and then over here we've got a chart that gives us our pressure. So inch and three quarter aluminum, you know, we're looking at uh, 1,600 pounds, 2,200 pressure uh, that we'll pump this up to. And again, you'll feel that in here as you're, you're using it. You can actually feel this draw back up through the inner sleeve of the hose. It'll take a little bit for it to come up to pressure. It'll come up. We'll release it. We'll give it a quarter turn because as these open up, it creates gaps. And so we just want to come up, we want to just quarter turn a little bit, expand it back out, and then try to just make up those gaps is all it's going to do. So again, very carefully, we're going to try to thread this on without it moving. Sometimes easier said than done. And I'm going to hold it there, and then Tyler's going to pump it up. And again, it takes a little bit for it to come up to pressure because it's drawing in all the, the slack within there. But it'll come up, and then he'll start feeling it. And it'll build up the pressure. for the pressure to come off it keep going because remember it's still expanded out okay that's good and I'm just gonna give it a quarter turn and then you're gonna pump it right back up the pressure pull it out pull it up no release no Feel it drawing back up in. Still catching. And then if you look down inside of there, and it's probably going to be hard to see, I can feel it. I've caught that entire o ring on the inside. I can feel the grooves of this embedded down inside of the body of the coupling. And again, I don't see any movement. So Again, at this point, we've made the connection, the coupling. We need to put this inner O-ring in here. 